Welcome back to the Mythic Draft Podcast. I'm Chris. And I'm Ron. And we are living in a yellow world. <laughs> yeah. You guys live in a yellow world. Yeah. It's not like it, that where I live. I, mean, I don't understand it. It didn't used to be this bad. No. Did it? I don't think so. It's definitely been like this for the last like eight years, though. Yeah. It's real bad down there. The other day, I could see it blowing through the air. The pollen is ridiculous, folks. We were, we were um, at work on Monday. I don't know what the heck we were doing. Oh, we were doing drafting, training on drafting. <laughs> Come out and like wa- sludge. <laughs> the water running off the street was just yellow sludge. Yeah, I was like, oh my god, <laughs> this is terrible. Yeah, my car looks awful. Yeah. But, you know, I come home and it's like, oh, there's a little bit of pollen. Look, it's not bad. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's normally supposed to be. Yeah. This has been maybe the worst year I've had for allergies in a long time. I actually had to break down and take medicine. Yeah, I started taking medicine again. Yeah. I got to work two, three shifts ago. and By like five o'clock, I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to die yeah i think i don't know yeah. <laughs> today somebody's like my eyes my eyes i'm like yeah you gotta put drops in or something that was awful oh. yeah. yeah and the, the shores rain nice we were supposed to get the other day that was supposed to wash it away did not come no i man the poor national weather service has been <laughs> just wrong swinging a miss so much yeah they keep like sending out like Oh, this storm's coming through, and we're sitting at work going, yeah. clear skies. Yeah. Don't see anything. <sighs> yeah. It's well, rough. It's, well, yeah, they've always been a little hit and miss. I mean, I remember last year, we were in Deep Creek. My brother was watching the house, and I, for some reason, checked my work email, and I was like, oh, gosh, Wakefield, you know, they, we got this big storm coming through. So I texted him, like, hey, man, there's going to be winds. It's going to be horrible. Can you get everything on the deck strapped? And he's like, okay. He sent me a picture. It's like blue skies, beautiful. But he strapped my entire deck down just to be a smart aleck. Good man. Yeah. As he should have. <sighs> yes. Yes. So. Uh, That's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Found a, a new tag in Maryland I hate. Oh, I hate what all the Those historic Maryland. assholes. Yes. Um, I, street Rod. That's a, th- that's a tag? Yeah. Yeah. That, that sounds made up. It is. Street Rod. Yep. Why? 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 Just why? I don't know. Uh, your, your state is weird. Because I have to go through inspection every two years, and you don't. It's ridiculous. What? There's people in Del Mar that their neighbor across the street has to go to inspections every two years, and they don't. That's true. Yeah. That's true. It's ridiculous. Yeah. But how much does your tag cost? I don't know. Three grand? <laughs> yeah, mine's $80. Yeah, because I saw oh, Maryland's raising theirs this year by $75 or something. Why? Yeah. What, what is the justification for that? I, I don't know where the money's going this year. I, probably, I, I don't know. Well, They're buying they Waterman have, mittens or something. They might have to build a bridge. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I did hear they have a bridge to build. No, that should be on the insurance company of that boat. Yeah, but they're not going to pay for all of it because apparently there's some law saying they're going to duck out of it. Oh, yeah. That law from like 1907 or something. Yeah. 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 Good old Maryland. Let's keep those ancient laws. It's not away. Maryland law. It's a... It's actually U.S. law. Uh, oh, yeah. It's like a maritime. It's a maritime law. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's right a... up there, though, with those stupid laws. Like, oh, you can't put squirrels in your pants for money or something. <laughs> I agree with that law, actually. You don't know. It could be delightful. It could be, but you know, what about the squirrel? Yeah. <laughs> you get tangled up. <laughs> Poor squirrel. I did discover what the internet is for. Oh, no. Porn? It's No. What? That's... They used to be. Now it's there to tell me all the things that I've been doing wrong my entire life. Oh yeah, yeah. I've I've discovered a YouTube short. This guy just like talks about all the 
this is how he starts out. Well, you're telling me for 40 years I've been doing it. I, oh, God yeah, damn. He, the, the red-haired kind of guy with the freckles. Yeah. 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 So he's been telling yeah, me I've been doing it wrong. Ain't no way. <laughs> ain't no way. Yeah. And then there's a uh, following this YouTube or a guy who's an exercise scientist. And he's like, you've been lifting wrong your entire life. And I started actually doing what he's saying. I'm like, I've been lifting wrong my entire life. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I saw Jeez. this crazy thing the other day. This guy had a bar racked on the ground and he stood like three feet in front of it. He arched backward, like did a crab over, landed on his head, grabbed the bar, curled it up and did like some weird press from there. That just sounds stupid. It, it was totally stupid, but they said it's like a great, I guess it's a wrestling exercise or something. But tell you what, this guy was jacked. So it does something. Sure. There's an old man. I, I can only assume he's old. He looks old. Yeah. In my gym. This mother effer the other day. The, so yesterday he's in there and he's doing inverted pull-ups. So he's upside down what? and he's pushing himself up. Okay. For funsies. So he's like hanging from a bar and muscling up upside down. Today... For funsies, he's doing one arm pull ups. Oh my gosh. He's my nemesis. You should chuck a, you get like a frisbee, take a 10 pound <laughs> plate, just wing it at him. Man. God. Yeah. This is weird. I don't uh. know if it's because I've been lifting a lot lately. We get, we have 10s and 25s, the big plates. I pick yeah. up those 25 plates. I'm like, this is nothing. I don't know if they're really 25 plates or I'm just yeah. strong. Well, no, I think it's because in your mind you see that twenty-five. You think it should be a forty-five. Yeah, because they're big ones. They're not. Yeah. Like the so when ones. you grab it, it, your mind's like, "I'm a man." <laughs> yeah. Look at me. Yeah. 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 But apparently, I've been lifting weights my own my entire life, which checks out for pretty much everything I've done in my entire life. What am I supposed to do? So hold your breath. No, I shouldn't hold your breath. I was going to throw my experience. I was, I learned to lift weights in a firehouse. Yeah. You should never learn anything in the firehouse. <laughs> like rule number Including, one. but not limited to fighting fire. Yes. <laughs> Cooking, oh, lifting gosh. weights, fighting fire, treating people kindly. You shouldn't learn any of these things in a firehouse. Uh, but, safe uh, driving. Safe driving. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, pretty decent driving record. Yeah. Salisbury Fire Department. Yeah. We've only had one major accident involving an engine. Yeah. In 10 years? Yeah, yeah. No. And before that, there's only one before that? Yeah. Anyways. So, you in the firehouse, you learn, all right, maximum weight, just yeah. push it as hard as you can, right? Yeah. So, this guy's Blow like, Blow no, no, no. out your O-ring. Right. <laughs> He's like, no, no, no. It's all about the eccentric and all about the stretch. So I've like cut my weight in half on everything. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm just getting mig- like much more burned and just feel much more jacked. Huh. Because you just go further back, get a much more pause and push up. Pushing up, is, who cares? Like if you're doing bench hikes, you, you push the bar up and you take two or three seconds to bring it back down all the way to your chest. I'm like, man, it's crazy. Yeah. Doing it wrong my entire life. Mm. I can't wait to find out what else I've been doing wrong. Probably learning French wrong this entire time. <laughs> learning French wrong. Uh, that's it. My daughter is, uh, she has to read the induction speech or the little oath that people say for the F- Spanish Honor Society. Oh. She's like, here, I want to practice with you. I was like, okay. So she's like, repeat after me. And I got, we got done. And she's like, you are the whitest person ever speaking <laughs> Spanish. It's like, uh, well. wow, I was just singing your praises like the other day about how you're Spanish. Yeah. Well, see, also with her, I kind of lean into it a little bit more, too. Just because she gives me a hard time because my sure. little Billy school. I mean, you're actually really good at languages. It's the none one of the 13 things I'm most jealous of you of. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. But it's my biggest failing in life that I can't speak another language. We all know this. 
Well, it's because we had lazy schools when we were coming up. I don't even have that excuse. I went to a private school for middle school, and we learned French in fifth grade. Mm. So I don't even have the good excuse. Why were you in middle school in fifth grade? That's middle school. No. Yeah. Middle school is six, seven, eight. No. Middle school is five, seven, eight. Wait, wait, what about six? We don't go to sixth grade, man. (laughs) Five, six, seven, eight. (laughs) Well, I guess in my school was. So we had kindergarten. Then you had the lower school, which is one, two, three, four. And then you go to middle school for five, six, seven, eight. Then you go to high school. Yeah. Well, I also went again to the small hillbilly school. You had K through six and then seven through 12. What? Yeah. So there were seventh graders with high school seniors? Yeah. That just seems like a recipe for disaster. Was it? Exactly. The, the worst I thing turn, about my... I turned out so normal. <laughs> <laughs> The worst thing about my middle school was it was um, a college prep academy. Ooh. So it it had K through 12 in the same school. Different buildings, but same school. Yeah. Okay. So I played baseball, five, fifth, sixth, and seventh grade. I played baseball. Hmm. Seventh grade, I wasn't good enough to make the high school team, but I was good enough to make the JV team one time. Yeah. So I'm like a seventh grader hitting, taking. Taking batting practice against high school kids. <laughs> like, these kids are throwing, like, 80-mile fastballs. I'm like, Arr! Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, our team wasn't big enough to, like, field a team. So I had to, like, actually play JV games against high school kids as a seventh grader. That doesn't sound fun. It was not fun. <laughs> and I don't like baseball. Nobody likes baseball. So, no, that's not true. Baseball is the sport that people love or just have no interest in at all. Uh it's it's weird. Uh, yeah. Like, I guess Delmarva's real happy because some kid's getting called up to the Orioles. And I was like, who the hell's this kid? Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I don't know. Does Baltimore still have a team? I don't know. Do you, I, I feel like <laughs> if you haven't won a championship in 30 years, you shouldn't be allowed to be a team. Like, it's time for you to move on. You should be like soccer and you get bumped down a league. They yeah, get relegated. Yeah, the Orioles should be relegated to minor league ball. Bring up the bananas. <laughs> Somebody other than the Orioles. Oh. This is their year. I I have look. look. They say that every year. I have worked in Maryland for twenty <laughs> years at this point. For twenty years, I have heard this is the Orioles' year. <laughs> and every year in August, they're like, God damn Orioles. Yeah. Well, the Orioles are, from what I remember when I used to watch baseball, was, you know, they're a pre All Star game break team. Yeah. Every it's year. It's like after the All Star break, they're like, whatever, we're done. Which is why the Phillies are better because of the opposite. Yeah. The Phillies will suck all spring, hit July, and they're like, holy, what is this team coming out of? Yeah. Which is because they build to watch. up a grudge. Yeah, it's like ma- maybe it's like Major League. Maybe they have the little poster, and you know, every time they maybe. win a game, they take something off. Maybe they do. Uh, yeah, I mean, I enjoy a baseball game. Get, like a baseball game live is a fun event. Yeah, but it's watching the, it on TV? No, I'll listen to it in the background, but I won't watch it. Mm. I won't sit down and watch a baseball game. That sounds yeah. awful. Yeah, <laughs> it's the second most fun live sport. What would be the first? Hockey. See, I thought you were going to say that. I wish I knew anything about hockey. There's a lot of icing. I know that. There's not that much icing. There's a lot of icing. You're a really bad team. Uh, there was that ginormous five-on-five five fight. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, the fighting's not as cool as it used to be. They used to uh, let them actually fight and bring out shivs. <laughs> Stab at each other. Hey, happy Gilmore. Yeah. Uh Oh, so the Capitals are still in the playoffs. Ah, oh, man. You know, it's again, I'm a bad person. I was like, this is the year I'm going to get back into hockey. I used to really watch hockey religiously. And I was like, this is the year I'm going to back into hockey. I didn't watch any hockey this year. Aren't there like 180 games or something? It's too many. There's a lot and of games. They, they, they screwed up the conferences, and it's hard to keep track of anymore. Mm. It's, it's annoying. Well, in places like, I'm sorry, Washington shouldn't be allowed to have a team because they don't have ice. 
there's two teams in Florida. Yeah. Two. Yeah. That's like the Jamaican bobsled team. <laughs> Doesn't work. I do like Olympic hockey. Hockey. That's that's like my that's my jam. Yeah. I like the Olympics. I feel like I like the Olympics and I like the World Cup yeah. as my sporting events. Yeah. I like the because Olympics. My my wife hates the Olympics. Like both sets of the Olympics? Yeah, she said they you know, they don't mean anything. I was like this shows our dominance over the world. What do you mean it doesn't mean anything? If you're an Olympic athlete, like that means something. No. Not so in demand. my wife's eyes. Really? Yeah. So I came up to me and I was like, I'm an Olympic weightlifter. I'm like, that's fucking badass, dude. Yeah. Even if you didn't win anything, I still think it's badass. Yeah, you qualified for the Olympics. That's yeah. huge. Yeah, I think the Olympics are pretty awesome. Uh, that's what I think. I mean, winter Olympics are way better than summer Olympics, but yes. summer Olympics has beach volleyball. Oh, uh, yes, it does. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it also has, like, ping pong. There's a lot of dumb sports. And sp- yeah. Skateboarding. Ugh. Oh, that's all. No, I like skateboarding. Mm-mm. It's yeah. not a sport. Ah, it is. It's not. It's a competition. It's not a sport. Yeah, well, yeah, I gave you that. Oh, look, he did a flip just like the other guy did the same flip. Yeah. Awesome. What if there were two people in the pool at the same time, and they each Dude, had a bat? Then I'm in. Yeah. See, they had lances. I'm in oh, for that too. God. Thunderdome. Thunder, I'm in for this. God, bring the Thunderdome back. <laughs> in for all of these things. Uh, yeah. I got a random question for you that came up today. Okay. Because I was working out and the trainer in my workout made this comment. Why? What is with people who like coffee and think coffee is like the most important thing, thing in their lives? Um, I don't think it's the most important thing in my life, but I like a cup of coffee in the morning. But, like, people really, like, buy into, like, coffee is, like, oh, I yeah. can't survive without coffee. Yeah. Well, there's also these people that have deluded themselves into thinking that Starbucks has good coffee. And it doesn't. Starbucks coffee is ass. That's fair. It's bitter. I, I... It's, ah, just, no. I don't know. I, I would much rather have a pot or a, a cup of firehouse tar coffee any day of the week. As a man who's never drank an entire cup of coffee his entire life, yeah. I don't get it. Yeah, it tastes like ass. <laughs> what? Well, I put a little cream and sugar in mine. It smells terrible. It's all bad. Yeah. It's 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 either so hot it burns your face, or it's so cold it tastes terrible and bitter. Oh no 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 no! You don't let it get cold. So what's yeah. the point of this crap? Keep it warm and drink it. It's terrible. It tell yeah. it smells bad. It tastes no. bad. You hate it because you have to put cream and sugar in it. I don't what, hate why, it. Why drink this crap? Look, that's the only little bit of caffeine and sugar I get during the day. I live caffeine free. Yeah, I know. It's probably better for me. But I like. Look, I have two cups of coffee a day max. That's it. I just like hot tea better. Yeah. And it's getting to be the end of hot tea season. Ah, I still drink it. No, nah, I can't do it. Yeah, I'll be that guy. It'll be 100 degrees outside. I'll be drinking a cup of coffee. Mm. <sighs> I'll drink soup in 100 degrees. I don't drink tea. Hot tea. I'll drink iced tea. And I don't drink sweet tea because <laughs> sweet tea is an abomination upon God's eyes. <laughs> it tastes objectively there, bad. There's a picture of it now every day in admin. Oh, I understand there is because of who who's the chief now. Yeah. And it's terrible. God, he's like a hummingbird. It, <laughs> if I didn't care about my career, I would sneak in there every morning and change it with unsweet tea. Because I think it would be hilarious. But the problem is or, he makes it most mornings. Yeah, you got to wait till he's done. And then you put a new pitcher in there and you'd be like, ah. God. I'll take pictures of the pitcher and I'll... Buy a copy pick pitcher. I already got that same picture at home. What are you talking about? I've got this plant already built. <laughs> Just have or to enact it. Or what you do is you dilute his sweet tea incrementally so that eventually he's like, oh, and then he's not drinking sweet tea anymore. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Man. Yeah, yeah. The long play. Congratulations, Chief. You're not getting diabetes. I pranked you. Yeah. God. 
I mean, I'll start to it like every time he starts making his tea, I'll like blow an air horn or something for like a Pavlovian response. <laughs> I mean, I'm waiting for you to put me like, like on the fire scene. Merk, I gotta make tea. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to like put a alarm clock in his ceiling and you know let it go off at random times. <laughs> that allegedly happened years ago. <laughs> it happened. I'm, I didn't say who did it. What? I'm just going to say that I am in somebody else's office for two weeks. And I have somebody's vehicle for two weeks. So I may or may not have a bag of googly eyes. (laughs) It's a nice big old fish in the back seat. No, because his dog would eat it. No, you take the fish out when it comes back. It just smells like a fish. Oh, yeah, yeah. You do realize that when he comes back, he is still my boss. (laughs) For two more months. Right. So what you got to do is yeah. have them go on vacation right before you get switched yeah. over. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, I like uh, that plane. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about it. <laughs> Put like a snakehead fish in there. It'll stay alive the whole time. A oh, God. He gets in it. I feel like I haven't messed with my boss enough. I wouldn't right now. Well, he's retiring, so. Well, I was talking about the one that's filling in currently. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not a mess with him. Yeah. It's not worth it. No. <laughs> no. Because, you know, I can't mess with my employees anymore. That's called harassment. It's harassment. And so, I guess I have to mess with my boss. Yeah. Or. Or the lieutenant you relieve and the lieutenant who relieves you. I can't mess with the lieutenant I relieve. He's already so stupid. (laughs) (laughs) Poor kid. I mean, come on. Or or you do the, the tricky one and you mess with the lieutenant on the opposite shift of you. Oh, that's the tricky one. That's That's the tricky one. Yeah. And yeah. especially, it's going to be a new guy. Oh, it is going to be a new guy. Ah, uh, yeah. Welcome to station one, biatch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome to station one, new fish. <laughs> uh, do you guys smelt something? Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, station one's the last firehouse you can do that kind of stuff. It is, yeah. 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 I mean, our current game is we purposely move things that are just out of reach of the cameras just to mess with the deputy chief who keeps looking at the cameras. <laughs> that's our current that's, game. That is great. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> keeps coming in. He's like, I'm going to catch you guys. And I'm like, eh, I'm going to catch you guys. You <laughs> Scooby-Doo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you going to catch us? Uh... We have a nice conspiracy out there at my, sh- at my station. I, uh, conspiracy <sighs> against the admin? Kind of. Okay. Just that one particular individual. Yeah. Eh, well, Look, it's probably... You gotta mess with people. Oh, yeah. It's, what else are you gonna do? You know, we're running a lot of calls. Yeah. Hey, you gotta blow off steam somehow. Yeah. We haven't burned a firehouse down, so I think that's, that's kind of saying something. Yeah, it is. We haven't had a fire in a firehouse in a long time. We used to set uh... the old firehouse on fire once a month. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Yeah. It was good for it. Kept it seasoned. Uh, let's say the other day I hopped on the medic with couple of EMTs on B shift. And we went on like two or three calls. We're like at the ER, we're joking around. They're like, we've never seen this side of you. I was like, well, this is me 20 years ago. <laughs> this is me before promotion ruined my life. Yeah. Don't you sometimes feel like it that way? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and yeah. when I go out and I jump on the ambulance for, you know, a few hours or eight hours or whatever, it's fun for me. It's not for the people that are on it day in, day out. Yeah. yeah. So every time I, you know, innovate somebody, I'm like, "You're welcome. 
You can just thank me now. Yeah. Yeah. Say, so, you know, we used to have to fight for this shit. Now I just do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because people have... like our current chief would be waiting. <laughs> like a innovation hawk. They would be God. like innovation hawks. Yes. I will uh, forever have over our current chief the day that he showed up on a cardiac arrest and the person was in rigor mortis and he said, Wismer, you go ahead and innovate. And I said, I don't think so. <laughs> Actually, no, he was going to innovate him. He was like, Wismer, go ahead and start an IV. And I said, which arm? The one that's sticking straight up or the other one that's sticking straight up? <laughs> and he's like, oh, I didn't even look. I'm like, yeah, uh, we should probably stop doing CPR now. You're focused on that tube. Oh, they, they, oh. Re- God, they don't I, work I can remember a certain, yeah, you know, former lieutenant, daddy got the tube. Mm-hmm. God, you could hear him a mile down the road. Daddy, come and daddy, come and get the tube. And you, you would, you would push the patient into the ambulance, and yeah. he'd be sitting there with laryngoscope in his hand, yeah, ready to go. Yeah, it's like what the hell? Yeah, yeah, <sighs> yeah. Mm. It's good old days. Uh yes. We talk about all the good old days all the time. We're like, yeah, you couldn't do half the shit we do anymore. No, no. <laughs> You could never. Uh, yeah. yeah. But the patients got the best care, damn it. Did they? They did. They got the best care we knew how to give them. Yeah. Because the science was not caught up to how dumb Oh, yeah, the science at the time was barbaric. Which isn't that awful? Doesn't that bother you a little bit sometimes when you go to sleep? Yeah. yeah. It still bothers me about Epi. Uh, yeah. Stop making me take classes. This, you're, you know what? You're the boss of EMS. Stop making me take classes that tell me that Epi's bad, and then make me keep giving Epi. Well, I'll tell you what. The next time I have lunch with Tim, you can come with. <laughs> Fine, I'll go, I'll do that. Okay. <clears throat> because he's just as guilty. Yeah. Stop. To either tell, either let me be ignorant and keep giving my epi, <laughs> be ignorant, or stop. But stop telling me that it's bad and making make me not do anything about it. Uh, yeah, you know, for the inside folks, well, folks, we have rules called protocols that we have to follow, and it takes a few years for the protocols to catch up. Sometimes, yes. Sometimes, yes. Hmm. Well, you ready to move on to topic one? Yeah, topic one. All right. <clears throat> this is a nice softball topic. I just Googled. Oh, God. Top 10 greatest RPGs of all time. It's been in my Ooh. head because there's the Fallout show came out. Yeah. Have you been watching so, it? I have not watched it yet. I've heard great things. I've watched the first, like, 20 minutes of the first episode. So... It's All good right. so far. Here's my first anger, because this was a list of 25 that wait, I came up with. I thought you so said I googled the top, top 10. 10. Oh. I googled top 10, but it came up with a list of 25. Number 20 was Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. 20? Man, makes, number 20. Wow. Yeah. So let's wow. get into number 10, the top 10. Be prepared for this, because it's going to make you angry. Oh, gosh. Number 10... Makes me so angry because it's not an RPG. Dark Souls. It's not. No, 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 no. I I enjoy the anger that is Dark Souls games. They're not RPGs. They're not not an RPG at all. They're action self hate games. Yeah, they're they're hatred masturbation. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Not Dark an Souls. RPG. Yeah. No. Number nine, Pokemon Red and Blue. Evidently, Pokemon is a huge gateway RPG for a lot of kids. I've never right. played a Pokemon. Fair. I've never played a Pokemon. Pokemans. Yeah. The Pokemans. No. Pokemans. Number eight, Elder Scrolls Three: Morrowind. Now look, I don't know. You're probably not as much of a or an Elder Scrolls fan. I love Elder Scrolls, but Morrowind was not the best. No, I didn't think it was. No, Wouldn't, Skyrim was. I was gonna say, one. wasn't Skyrim better than Morrowind? By far. Yeah. By far. Yeah. I, uh, yeah number I, seven. And putting this over a a 
Elder Scrolls game is crazy. Fallout New Vegas. Really? Yeah. Yeah. What well, is it? New Vegas is the one that like everybody loved, wasn't it? Everybody on the internet but me loves New Vegas. Yeah. I think Fallout 3 was better than New Vegas. Personal choice. Yeah. And it's way better than number six, which is Mass Effect 2. Which is a Mass Effect 2? Giant steaming pile of crap. Holy crap. Yeah. That game was a slog to get through. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like, there were maybe a couple of decent storylines in Mass Effect 2, but. Ah, oh, no. Yeah. Terrible. Man, that. Mm. Yeah, I'm with you. Terrible. Does it. You're telling me Knights of the Republic thanks to the list? Oh, we. I, you're going to get angry later, so you know, be prepared. Number five, The Witcher 3. I have no real... I don't have any say in The Witchers because I've never played any of them. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's a ton of stuff to do in it. God, I tried to go back to The Witcher 3 like six months ago. Couldn't do it. This one makes me angry. Final Fantasy 6 at number four. At four? Final Fantasy VI, not even Final Fantasy VII, which is the Final Fantasy that is the one that everybody knows. Final Fantasy VI was such a good game. Sure, but Final Fantasy VII is the one everybody knows. Yeah. I mean, I prefer VI over seven, but... Fair. VI was the last of the pixel side. Yeah, it was. Turn-based. I think still... Yeah, yeah, seven is definitely the more popular, the more approachable. Yeah. This one makes me angry. Number three is Diablo 2. I love Diablo. It is not an RPG. No, it's a it's, dungeon crawler. It's a dungeon crawler. It's not an RPG. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Number two, I don't actually don't argue with. I think it actually should be probably be number one. World of Warcraft. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably the <clears throat> biggest name. Biggest. Wait yeah. a second. If that's number two. Oh, number one's going to anger us, isn't it? <laughs> number one angers me because I've never even played it or heard of it until this moment. Number one is Chrono Trigger. Really? Yeah. No. This is number Chrono one. Chrono Trigger? Chrono Trigger. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it was a Square Enix game, <clears throat> or at the time, Square Soft. Sure. And yeah, but Square. Wait, whoa, whoa. So Baldur's Gate Two didn't make it. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. What the fuck? Baldur's Gate Two comes in at eleven. What? Oh, eat up. Who who wrote this? Uh, this is Den of Geek. I don't Den know. of Geek. Yeah, Den of Geek. Eat my toe. Ugh. Here's one that makes me mad. Ultima. Comes in at twenty three. What? Yeah, you can't. Like, you don't have modern RPGs without Ultima. That is correct, hundred percent. How can you have a list, a top ten, a top list of all, all time, and Ultima God. comes in at twenty four or twenty three? And they picked God. Ultima four, which is what? not the best Ultima, but it's fine. That's like somebody said, yeah, yeah, the best parts of the car. Well, everything but the tires. No, you don't have a car without the tires. Their 25 best, 25th best was Disco Elysium. Never heard of it. Uh, yeah. I'm not a Disco Elysium fan. Fire Emblem? Path Ooh, of Radiance. Fire Emblem. That should have been, oh, that should be much higher. 24. What? 22 uh, was Vampire the Masquerade, which I love that game. Yeah. Um, but I could see why I didn't read yeah. You would like Fire Emblem. I probably, I've played a, one tactic, of the Fire Emblems. Totally tactics. Yeah, it's a and, yeah. Yeah. That, that's like my wife's favorite game of all time. Twenty one was Dragon Quest: Journey of the Cursed King. Oh, that was the seventh one or eighth, eighth one, seven or eighth. Yeah, eighth. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, there 19th, was a couple big twists in that one. Nineteenth was Secret of Mana. Okay. Mm Eighteenth with Earthbound. I never played Earthbound. No, me either. Seventeenth, so is... like the sequel was like Mother Two or something weird. Sure. Seventeenth <laughs> is Vagrant Story. Never played oh, it. Oh, that was that weird PS One. Yeah. That was it. Was fun, but PS One 
we thought it was good graphics. It was not. Persona, yeah, that's that is one hundred percent correct. Yeah. Persona five and sixteen. Five? No. <laughs> See, Over um, four or three? Oh. Hmm. Final Fantasy nine makes it number fifteen. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, weird little rat tail boy. I mean, it's a fun game, but no, no. Deus Ex makes it at fourteen. I never played Thir- a Deus Ex. I played Deus Ex. It was uh, it's fine. Yeah. Deus or uh, thirteen is Sukoden two. Suikoden. Yeah. Suikoden. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It looks. It's spelled Sukoden, but yeah, it's pronounced Suikoden, evidently. And then Planescape Torment rings at number twelve. Here's Wait. some games that didn't make the list that uh, bother the hell out of me. No Dragon Age. Yeah. No Mech Warrior Battletech. Oh yeah, all. yeah. Um, oh my God. going through my library of games, uh, Dark Messiah didn't make it. New Might and Magic. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Um, um, what else? Let's see. Conan Exiles didn't make it. It's an amazing yeah, game. It is. Uh, is that more of a survival <laughs> game though? Yeah, I mean, but it's got RPG elements. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you're going to put fucking Dark Souls on there. Yeah, that is true. And if you're going to put Dark Souls on there and you don't put Elden Scrolls or Elden Ring, yeah. that doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, yeah, here's my magic. Da, da, da. Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor was an amazing game. Oh, oh yeah. Amazing. That was the Ubisoft, wasn't it? It was it Ubisoft. <clears throat> I don't know who made it, but it's an amazing. Yeah. Uh, Divinity, Divinity, amazing game. Oh, what's the what's the one with the guy and he has the arm shoots out? Oh man, Bionic Commando. Oh. <laughs> the guy with the arm that shoots out. Oh man, man, I can't remember what the name of that game is. We hit a, uh, oh man! Oh, EverQuest didn't make the list. Crazy, crazy. Well, yeah, that should fable. Fable. Oh yeah. Pillars of Eternity, which is the Baldur's Gate. Yeah. You know, prequel basically. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, um. Oh, you said fable already. Yeah. Yeah. Divinity, Dragon Age. Darkest Dungeon, uh, uh, it's fine. Mm-hmm. Kingdom Hearts? Uh, I, I mean, I could see it's an RPG. And how yeah, can... it's a big RPG. People love that game. Yeah. Uh, Eve Online, people love that game. Yeah. I'm just think of Icewind Dale, too. Oh, Icewind Dale. Yeah. These games are not Neverwinter Nights. Oh, Never Winter Nights. How did Never Winter Nights not make that? God, list? that was so fun. Or even what? Um, but like King's Quest or Space Quest. Yeah, King's Quest. Oh my God, King's Quest was amazing. Yeah, that now we're really showing how old we are. Dragon. Uh, what was it? Uh, Dragon's Lair. Dragons. Dragon's Lair. Yeah. The Dragon's Lair. The cartoony, controlly one. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. Uh, I just can't believe you're gonna pick. You get first off, you're not putting a Dragon Age gun there. Game yeah. there's crazy, but you're gonna pick Final Fantasy nine and six instead of seven. Come on, yeah. Uh, uh, Final Fantasy, do you think we're gonna get Dragon Age anytime this year, <sighs> next year? I don't. Is it even been talked about? Oh yeah, yeah. It's the uh, oh gosh, it's like Project Wolf or something. Dreadwolf. Dreadwolf, there you go. Yeah. Uh the trailer was released at 2018. Hey, that was like a it wasn't a trailer, it was like barely a cinema cinema uh, cinema like clip or something, but they we said know something it's about it last too... year. So the last thing I can see is a full reveal is planned for summer of twenty twenty four. I just hope it gets back to Drink Dragon Age. 
Oh yeah, like Dragon Age Two. That was the best. Yeah, I... <laughs> no, it wasn't. Uh, Inquisition was so bad, though. Yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah. When your healer can't heal you. Heal. Yeah. God. Yeah. 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 I just feel like that list. Folks, scrub back to the really, really old episodes. Yeah, you'll hear rage about Dragon Age Inquisition. (laughs) That's true. Oh, Monster Hunter. People love that game. Yeah, yeah, people love that. I tried it. I couldn't get into it. Uh, I mean, Bloodborne's the same as Dark Souls. Sure. You should put it on there. But how do you not have Ultima in the top 10? That's insane. It's probably because it was some 22 year old writing this while they're sipping their Starbucks. Their Tesla's driving them to work, and they're listening to the rap music. And Knights of the Old Republic. Yeah. Look, I get it's a Star Wars game, but it's the best RPG maybe of all time? Uh, I don't know about all time, but it's definitely up there. It deserves top ten. Top Top five. Top five. I love World of Warcraft for what it was. Yeah. But Kotor's better. It's more fun. Yeah. Um, well, because was it Kotor that introduced the whole like your path kind of chose like I your mean, decisions? It's the first time I remember it. Yeah. You know. It's the first Mass time Effect I Two. It. Yeah, Mass Effect Two. Come on. God, dude. Uh, Man, this list has Chrono Trigger as the top as well. What? I've never played this game. What is? Like, oh, because you can be the frog with the axe? Flip it Apparently. In. Yeah. Man. I've never played it. What, what, besides World of Warcraft, what would you put as top one, though? Top of all time. <sighs> Golly day. Top of all time. I mean, it would have to be one of those... You know, like like an Ultima or a Dragon Quest one or a you know Final Fantasy one. You know, one of those that well, no, not Final Fantasy one. That wasn't great. Final Fantasy two, that was okay. What's better, Dragon Age? Like, if you think about RPG, like pure the experience of an RPG, what's better in your mind, Dragon Age or Final Fantasy? Uh, like the newer stuff. <laughs> Uh, let's not say the new Dragon Age. I mean, but just like what an RPG is, I want to say Dragon Age was way better than Final Fantasy. I don't know. Final Fantasy is what got me into RPGs. Fair. Oh my god, this list has The Witcher 3 as number one. What? And Mass Effect 2 is number two. What? They have Baldur's Gate 3 as number three. I mean... I'm not disagreeing with Baldur's Gate being in the top. Yeah. That, yeah, Skyrim is number six. KOTOR, number seven. I like this list better than... Yeah, this is Games Radar. Assassin's Creed? No. That's not an RPG. No, there's their Disco Elysium. Dragon Age Inquisition, number 12. Oh, that's be Dragon's right Dogma. I never really got into Dragon's Dogma. Uh, I, I played the first one. It's It's frustrating. Yeah, there's a new one. Yeah. Oh, Fantasy Star Online. Oh, pillars boy. in there. Outer Worlds. Nah. Uh, I didn't. I know people loved Outer Worlds because it was like a Fallout clone, but meh. So Forbes has the Baldur's Gate series as number one. Oh. The Mass Effect series is number two. Yeah. The Elder Scrolls series is number three. See, now I think you're cheating because you're using it by the series. Yeah, I know. Because if I'm going to go that way, if you go by series, it's Elder Scrolls, Baldur's Gate, Dragon yeah. Age for me. Yeah, I can see that. I would, I would go Baldur's Gate, Final Fantasy, probably Dragon Quest. I mean, I love Baldur's Gate, but like all of the time I've spent in Elder Scrolls games, it's, oh, it's, <sighs> it's that first person floaty feel I don't like. First person's fine for shooting, but for sword, I didn't like it. Uh, 
I've broken wrong. And this one has earth brown. As number yes, so this one has Kotor is eight. Okay. Paper Mario at nine. I, Paper Mario for what it is is a fun RPG. Sure. Elden Ring at ten. I just. Uh, oh. Dragon Age Origins at seven. God, I feel that. That game. Earthbound at six. Near Replicant at five. Oh, that's just weebs who like scantily clad to be. Baldur's Gate 2 at 4. Skyrim at 3. Final Fantasy 7 at 2. And Chrono Trigger at 1. What is with the Chrono Trigger? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think I vaguely remember playing Chrono Trigger. I don't remember at all. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm... Um, 80% through my playthrough of the newest Final Fantasy 7. Oh, it's fun. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a lot of hack and slash now. It's more the action RPG. So, but the story's really good, so. I'm looking for the best boss of all time and this says Dead Space. I never played Dead Space. No, neither did I. Yeah. It doesn't look like we'll be getting a Dead Space 2 remake either. No. Sadly. Yeah. Happens. Yeah. Yeah. God, Dragon Age. <laughs> Dragon Age. Was that the first one that had like the wheel that you selected from? <clears throat> I mean, it was in other games before <clears throat> that. But like on a console. Yeah, yeah. it was other games on the console that had it. But yeah, this I is like, so. it was the first time it was in an RPG probably. Yeah. Hmm. Lots of adult time in Dragon Age. That's fair. Was that That's... like as you were leaving the town, there was that dog you could have as your companion if you did the right thing? Oh, I don't remember that. I just remember healing being important, and then another game where. They had Dragon Age where the healing was <laughs> retarded. Oh, you have to brew potions. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. I have a healer. Yeah. Uh, well, well I guess Boulder's shirt. Gate finally, you know, actually took away from that because uh, what's her face sucks as a healer in the she beginning. She does suck as a healer. Shadowheart. Yeah. Shadowheart is terrible as a healer. Yeah. Yeah. She's arguably the worst of the. If you, know, you respec her, she gets a lot better. Sure. Yeah. 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 Mm. Well, ready to move on to topic two evil. before you have a stroke? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> so, when we were kids. Oh, God. No, no, no. I don't know about you, but I feel like we collected a lot of things as children. Yeah. Like, like but I mean, like odd stuff. Like I had tons of Matchbox cars and micro machines. Oh, and... micro machines! I had, I was just thinking about micro machines. I had so yeah. many of them. Yeah. What? What? I mean, did we play with them? Yeah. You didn't play with the micro machines. Well, I guess I kind of did, but I don't know. You but did, I like, remember the micro machine playset. But yeah, but it was fine for like the little cars. But I remember there was like micro machine planes, and the wheels were the same size as the plane because they tried that you had to make it roll. I guess. Uh, I don't remember the micro machine plane. Really? Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. But I definitely had a ton of micro machines. <clears throat> did you have a Porsche nine eleven? I did actually. <laughs> I did. <clears throat> I did. Um, yeah. I had those, and uh, I had a bunch of Matchboxes when yeah. I was young. And was it um, Matchbox or Hot Wheels? Isn't it the same thing? I think it is now, but I don't think it was the same thing when we were kids. Really? Yeah, I think they were two different things. Oh. Huh. Yeah. I don't have the answer to that question. Yeah. So I remember, did you have the big set that was like the... Um, the city 
that like unfolded and you had legs that flipped out and it was like a like an S track that it came down. There was a garage and like a bank that popped out and stuff. It and all your cars would could carry in it. That was not that cool. Uh, I wasn't that cool. That's why I had it. <laughs> uh, I had my, uh, you know, Star Wars figures. I was a youngin. Most definitely. Yeah. Uh, lots of GI Joes. Oh yeah, tons of GI Joes. Tons. Huh. It was Matchbox Cars that inspired their competitor at the time, Hot Wheels. Matchbox was more realistic, while Hot uh, Hot Wheels was more hot rod and exaggerated. Mattel bought both companies later on. Hmm. That's a fun fact. Yeah. I I had a lot of the He-Man. Uh, my characters. brother He-Man, I did not. Uh, I remember I had three of the five Voltron lions. Man, my uh, neighbors were really into Voltron, and I just didn't watch it. Voltron didn't was know so anything good. about it. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. yeah. I, feel like I remember I a friend of mine it. had the other two lions. So, like, if we hung out together, we could actually make Voltron. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Did you ever yeah. have the Centurions? Like, from Battlestar Galactica? No. It was this cartoon in the late 80s. It was these guys that had, like, these exosuits. And they had all these little holes in them. And you could clip different weapons and armor and stuff to them. Like, there was an underwater guy and there was a space guy and a road guy. And they had like, they would like clip into these vehicles. Hmm. Yeah. It was like, oh. God, the, the water guy was Max Ray and like Ace was the pilot guy. The ground guy had this crazy like tank thing he wore called the Wild Weasel. I had um, mask. Oh, my, my, my mask. And I had Starcom. Do you remember those? Starcom? No. Yeah. Starcom, like I think Starcom. They had like magnets. Huh. In their boots, and they like stuck to like their little ships and stuff. Ooh, that's neat. Yeah. Um, the Silver Hawks. I had some of them. Didn't have those. I had GoBots. <laughs> oh God, that was always so sad. You're like, oh, Transformers. Oh, it's a GoBot. Yeah, yeah. God, no, they was had it, a show. There had to. Yeah, I was about to say there had to have been a show for the GoBots. There was. There was. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, the GoBots were always smaller. The toys. You know what I had like, is a dumb toy. I had a bunch of mash toys. Really? Yeah. <laughs> like Father Mulcahy? I had like Hawkeye and He comes with a big pen. <laughs> I, I, I remember having Hawkeye and um Klinger. Wow. I had a mash um tent in my room. Like wow. as a yeah, I mean I didn't know they made mash yeah. figures. I bet those things are worth money now if I had them. Oh, still. they probably would be. Yeah. But yeah, I had I had the mash tent. I remember. Oh my god, this mash toy is worth one hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, you gotta find them. <laughs> they're uh, they're gone. <sighs> Your mother has them tucked away somewhere. Uh, yeah. Did you have army men when you were a kid? Little green army men. Oh yeah. I had tons of those things. Yes. I had a giant tub of them that we had two armies. There were green ones and gray ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And did you have, there was like the regular size ones, but then there were little minier ones. We had uh, so many of these things. We'd hide them all around the house just to ignore my mother, I think. Be vacuuming. (laughs) Did you ever melt them? No. You so. never put them through war? No. They're my toys. I take care of them. Yeah. They're precious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Man, I can't uh, find a picture of this tent that I had when I was a kid. Thundercats? Uh, I miss Thundercats. That was like uh, just a little bit younger than me was Thundercats, I feel yeah, like. see, I was a lonely little man. I have Thundercats. <laughs> My um, brother had a couple Thundercats, but yeah. I didn't really like the show. Oh, the show was so much fun. It was fine. Transformers, though. That was the jam. Transformers was tough. The Transformers you know, movie is still... It's it's the 40th anniversary. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be uh, released to s- select theaters. Huh. Yeah. With Eric Idle. Oh, God, such and a good Orson song. Welles. I think that's Orson Welles' like, last movie. Uh, one shall stand, one shall fall. I'm trying to find this mash tent from when I was a kid. I can't. <laughs> yeah, because if you Google mash tent, you're going to see an actual mash tent. Yeah. <clears throat> God. Yeah. How uh, old were you when you realized what the theme song to mash was? Oh, uh, high school. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. It was probably when I watched the movie. Hmm. Which was way late. Um, probably was probably high school. You know, I realized what the song was about. Yeah, and you're like, oh, oh. Yeah. Man, damn, can't find this tent. Maybe I just deleted it up. Maybe I didn't have it when I was a kid. I, I have vivid memories of having a tent in my bedroom that was. <laughs> Your mom made themed. it. Yeah, maybe. I loved. I, I I was such a weird kid. I liked Gummer Pile, Mash, and F Troop. Really? Yeah. I still love Mash. Yeah. I'll watch Mash right yeah. now. Yeah, it holds up. It does. Yeah. yeah. Did you have a lot of toy guns? We had a lot of toy guns when I was a kid. Yeah. Golly day. A lot of cap guns. I remember beating my yeah. brother almost to death with a cap gun. <laughs> oh my god! Uh. <laughs> beating it to death. Uh. Yeah, but the thing was, growing up in the 80s, you had all these toys with the hyper-violent cartoons associated with them. And then our outdoor toys were things like lawn darts. Yeah. I mean, it was like, you know, Lord Shock of the Flies. <laughs> God. I mean, here, Johnny. That any of us lived. Yeah. Go throw this weighted dart up in the air, high as you can, to see if it'll hit the target. Oh, gosh. And then our playgrounds. <laughs> How any of us survived a playground? No. With, yeah. It, yeah. It just... The most benign of them all. The seesaw. The number of split chins and busted noses. <sighs> the um, crazy, crazy hot uh, slide. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they tried to tell us that it was the sun that got it that hot. What it was is while we were at lunch, the janitor was out there with a propane torch. <laughs> Golly day. Yeah, and it wasn't. It was just shards of glass at the bottom. It wasn't. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That that was the mulch of our day. God. Yeah, you get halfway down, and your shorts would ride up a little bit, and your leg would catch on that metal and just <laughs> and spin you around. Oh God! You had shorts as a kid. That's yes. Special. Yeah. Would you? you would, no, no. Well, you went to fancy schools. So you had a uniform. You did have a uniform. Yeah. yeah. I was a kid blue, that went to school in the corduroy shorts. We had blue slacks and blue polos Ooh. when I was young, young, when I was in Catholic school. Nice. You looked like a And smurf. the girls had to wear plaid, plaid blue skirts. Mm. Do you guess you call them? Yeah. Yeah. Terrible. Okay. Mm. Monkey bars. Uh, I hate monkey bars. Still hate monkey bars. Yeah. Well, I mean, when when's the last time you had to <clears throat> go through a monkey bar? 
Uh, well, the last time I did Savage Race. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Golly day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, think about it, though. Those things that we collected got given to us as kids. God, if we had just kept a couple of them. But they were yeah. toys. I like to play toys. with toys. Yeah. That That's why I had them. Yeah. yeah. All of my G.I. Joes were destroyed. Oh, yeah. God, and that, and that was always so sad when you would break the thumb off <laughs> or and then you had to up. like rubber band the gun to their hand or something. The, uh, the rubber band that came through their arm. Oh yeah. Yeah. You'd be playing with them. That would snap and they would just fall apart into five pieces. You're like, <gasps> mm-hmm. or they get rusty. If you took them in the pool or the tub. I do remember losing GI Joe's in the snow one time. Oh, it's sad. Yeah. Yeah. It was sad. I got it back in the, in the spring. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> see? Circle of life. Yeah. Did you take toys in the bathtub? No. Really? Oh, man. I We had separate G.I. Joe's just for the tub. Really? Yeah. And again, it's amazing I didn't drown as a child because I swear my mother would leave me in the tub for like eight hours at a time. Eh, it's fair. Yeah. Go soak. I'm going to drink. No, my mom. <laughs> my mom's never a drinker. So. But, eh. Yeah, no, that's. I don't remember that kind of toys in the tub. What, what, that cool. what kind of toys did you? <laughs> like rubber duckies and stuff. Oh, yeah. You know, stupid tugboats. Yeah. Oh, God, those little things that you could fill up with water, the little squeezy guys. God, those things were so nasty inside, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm. It's full of mold. Mm. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Fun trip down memory lane. Yeah. I can figure out. I got to find this mash dent. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, I'm going to text tomorrow at like, you know, 7 a.m. I found it. I, there's got to be somewhere, right? Like, yeah, somebody's got yeah. it on eBay. And if I find it, I'm taking it to the firehouse and I'm sleeping in it. <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> God, I will go by the firehouse Tuesday night just to see that. Well, it's going to take me longer to find it than that. No, You're crafty. Get your get your wife on it. She'll hunt it down. She'll, She'll make you one. It. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. But she'd probably find it in like six minutes. I've already been searching for longer. Yeah. <laughs> find the same thing. <sighs> well, folks, I think we've cast the pod. We have. Oh, man, I'm yawning so much. Uh, well, it's the pollen. It's, it's almost seven o'clock. It's like bedtime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, it is for you. Well, no. Yeah. Well, your body's used to it because it's like, oh, it's the fourth day. I have to sleep. That That is the worst yeah. 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 My body's like, uh, it's six o'clock, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> Sun's getting real low. It's yeah. not. No, it is. <laughs> but, but, but sun's still up. Yeah. Well, folks, uh, enjoy your tree induced allergies. Yes. Um, maybe one day we'll have some sun. Yeah. It's a little sunny here. We got blue sky. But, uh, it's needed to warm up for a couple days. Yeah. Rinse out your eyes. Yeah. Enjoy your uh, pollen. Enjoy your pollen. But uh, take care of each other. And be careful out there.